Hey everyone, it's Jacob here back again with another video. Um, so, uh, for today's video, uh, I know this looks a bit different than, um, than like how I regularly make my videos, like for my videos and stuff, but um, so for today's video, I wanted to do my Scenit DVD board game collection, or just my Scenit game collection, or whatever you want to call it. My Scenit collection, whatever you want to call it, I can go by any of those names. <laughs> um, so yeah, um... So I technically did like I think like two scenic uh, game collection videos before, but I wanted to do another one because I got a couple of a uh, couple more scenic games since the last time I made a scenic game collection video. Well, they're not really actual scenic games, like little versions of them. You'll you'll see what I mean. But um, yeah. So the first time I made a scenic game collection video, I opened up every single box and showed like every single little piece inside the boxes and stuff like that. And then the second one, I just showed the fronts and backs of the boxes, to make it, like more efficient and stuff like that. Um, and like make it a little bit short and stuff like that because the first thing in the collection video I made where I showed every little piece inside each of the boxes it was like a little over an hour long and then the second one where I only showed the fronts and the backs of the boxes was only like 27 minutes long so um yeah I'm just going to be showing the fronts and backs of the boxes to save time be more efficient and stuff just like the last scenic game, scenic game collection video I did so um yeah, but also, uh, the last two scenic game collection videos I made, I made, like, on my couch, and, like, the, the games were, like, stacked on my couch and stuff like that, but, um, for this, for this particular game collection video, I decided it might be easier if all the games were just, like, on the floor, and I just, like, picked them up and showed them instead of, like, putting them in big stacks on my couch. Um, so, yeah, I'm not gonna waste any more time, so, yeah, let's get started, so first one I'll show right here I'll just put them all off to the side like probably like off screen or something after I'm done showing them but uh, this is the first one right here this is just the original scenic game the very first scenic game so the premiere movie trivia game with real movie clips and uh yeah that's that's just like a general movie trivia game and yeah and uh actually on, on each of the boxes on the back of the boxes it shows like all the pieces and what the DVD looks like and stuff uh, so that's what all the pieces of the game looks like, and like the DVD and stuff in that picture there. Anyway. That's that. Um, next. Get this out of the way. Next, this is, uh, also oh, the deluxe version of the original Scenic game. It says Scenic Deluxe Movie Edition. Um... Now, you might be wondering why I have the Deluxe Edition, but I already have the regular edition. Well, as you can see up here, it says the Deluxe Edition has two DVDs. The original version only had one. It says more trivia cards, more tokens, and more fun. Right up there. Right there. It's kind of like a weird angle, so it's kind of like hard for me to position the games when I show them, I guess. But anyways, there's the back of that one. It says two DVDs, includes the original movie game disc and bonus game disc. More tokens, more trivia cards, party play, stuff like that. Uh, I fell over. Uh, okay. I didn't really fall over, just like, like, like that. Uh, anyways, <laughs> uh, next one I have here to show is uh scenic movie second edition is basically like the second edition of the original scenic game um so yeah that's that there's what the pieces and stuff looks like for that one and that picture there and you can see like what the dvd looks like in that picture there um like the screen of the dvd and stuff like the menu and stuff so yeah anyways also have the deluxe edition of the movie second edition this one is very similar to the deluxe version of the original scene it as you can see up here it says it has two dvds just like the deluxe version of the uh, original scene it game it says deluxe edition includes bonus dvd movie sorry tokens it's saying you puzzlers party play actually i think the uh, uh the second dvd the bonus dvd is the only uh the only like uh, new thing in the deluxe edition, 
everything else seems the exact same as the original edition, so yeah. I'm pretty sure every single uh, Scenic game has a deluxe version for it. Um, but I'm not sure if, I've, if I'm interested in getting the deluxe versions of like every single Scenic game that I have, because I think um, with some deluxe versions of Scenic games, like there's a lot of differences. Like when we saw with the deluxe version of the original Scenic game, it was like a, a second disc and there's more tokens, more cards, stuff like that. But then some deluxe versions of Scenic games don't really have that not much differences at all, like what you saw with the uh, deluxe version of the movie second edition. It only had a second DVD, there wasn't any other, any other new stuff, so, um, yeah, so some deluxe versions have more stuff, but then others don't really have that many differences at all, and they're kind of the same as the original game. But yeah, anyways, um, next up I guess I'll show this one. This next one is Seinfeld Cena, and, and actually never really watched Seinfeld, never really been interested in it, so you might be wondering, why do I have Seinfeld Cena if I've never even seen Seinfeld? Well, I found this at a, at a Goodwill thrift store randomly once, um, and I was with my mom at the time, and I saw it, I was like, hey, Seinfeld Cena, I don't have that one, but now it's like, oh, I've never seen Seinfeld, I don't think I'm really interested in it. But then my mom, because like I said, I was with my mom at the Goodwill thrift store at the time, my mom was like, oh, just get it, board games at Goodwill are only like 99 cents, it's a scenic game you don't have, why not? And I was like, yeah, true, I'll get it. Um, and also it's the deluxe version, as you can see at the top there. So, yeah. But yeah, to this day, I've never seen Seinfeld, never really interested in it, never really been interested in it, so, yeah. Um... That says the only additional thing to Deluxe Edition is bonus trivia cards. And I think the rest is the same. It was like the original version. There's all the pieces look like right there on that picture at the bottom. And you can kind of see the DVD menu in that picture there. Yeah. I guess next I'll show this one. Uh, Turner Classic Movie Scene. I ordered this one from Amazon, from Amazon one time because I thought it just looked pretty cool. But I don't really know any of the movies in it besides like uh, Wizard of Oz is in it. You can see it, that picture that my fingers on right there. Um, yeah, Wizard of Oz in this game is really like the the only old movie that's in this game that I've seen. Um, I mean, some of these I've heard of, like on the back it lists like Casablanca and seeing and singing in the rain. I've heard of both of those, but I've never seen them. But yeah, there's that. So next one is TV Seen It. When I first got this, I thought I would, like, know more of the trivia in it and stuff, but it turns out that a lot of the the shows in this game are, like, really old shows. Or some some of them aren't, like, really old, but they're still, like, old. Um, I mean, obviously, there's not going to be any, like, current shows from, like, now, like, 2023, because this is an older game. Like, almost all these are, like, older games. Um... But yeah, there's the back of that box. Next up, this one is Disney Channel Seen It. The trivia game is your favorite Disney Channel clips. I love Disney Channel, so I had to have this game. And, uh, yeah. There's what the pieces look like in the picture there, and the, the menu of the DVD there. Um, and, yeah. This is probably one of the Disney games that I'm the best at because I know a lot about Disney Channel because I love Disney Channel. Um, but um, there is some questions like mainly on like the trivia cards and stuff about like specific things that about like things that happened in like specific episodes of some Disney Channel shows and stuff. Like I remember one question, I don't remember exactly what the question was, but it was a question about the episode was over every place where Justin had a pimple, I think, or like a zit or whatever. Um, so yeah. So those questions might be tricky, but yeah. Besides that, I'm pretty good at this particular game. Well, if it's like a question about like a Disney Channel original movie, I might not know it because I know more about like Disney Channel shows and Disney Channel movies because I don't really watch that many Disney Channel movies, to be honest. Like Disney Channel original movies or DCOMs, as they're called, I guess. I definitely watch more Disney Channel shows than movies than like Disney Channel movies. But yeah, anyways. This next one is 80s seen it. Um, this one, my brother ordered for me, I was gonna get, get to me from, like, my graduation, my high school graduation party, um, my graduation from high school, um, yeah, I don't know why, it's pretty much said the same thing there, 
I guess I didn't think I really said high school loud enough, so you weren't sure if I meant, like, high school or, yeah, anyways, I don't know. <laughs> uh, anyway, but, yeah, um, but I think at the time when my brother ordered this for me, he was intending to give it to me for my high school graduation party, um, my, uh, the Amazon app on my phone was somehow, like, logged into my brother's Amazon. I don't 100% I don't 100% know why, I don't really remember why my Amazon app was, like, pretty much connected to his Amazon, so, yeah, I could, I saw, like, what the order was, that, the thing that my brother ordered for me, and, yeah, it was, it was this, and so, my brother ended up giving it to me early, since I knew what it was, and, yeah, but, I don't really know too, too much about the A's, I still take, it would, it would be a pretty cool one to have, it is pretty cool one to have, I know some stuff in it, but, yeah. Um. Yeah. So obviously I wasn't alive in the eighties. I was was I was born in two thousand two, so I didn't live in the eighties. But I I know some stuff in the eighties. Anyway, um. This next one is music scene. It. Uh, so it's kind of similar to the TV scene it, cause but the TV scene it, I thought I'd know a lot of the TV shows in it, but uh, turned out to be a lot of like older shows and with this music scene I thought I would know a lot of the music and that's the other one for Christmas one year I think maybe like the year before last year or something like that I don't think it was last year no it wasn't anyway um but this ch turned out to be a lot of like pretty old music in this game I thought it'd be like a little more newer music but yeah that's what the back looks like and this one's in like a metal tin box instead of the usual cardboard box usually it's only the, the deluxe versions of Seen it games are in like metal tin boxes like this, but this isn't a deluxe version. So, there is version. Version. Uh, anyway. Uh, this next one is Sports Seen It, powered by ESPN. I don't know that much about sports at all. I don't really like watching sports. Um, I, mean, I kind of like playing sports, but I don't like watching sports at all. Um, yeah, sports has never really been a cheap never really been a huge fan of sports really at all but i found this game randomly to go both thrift store and i thought it looked cool and decided to get it. it was kind of similar to like when i found that seinfeld scene around the Google thrift store and i decided to get that one but yeah that says uh, this host dvd hosted by espn's dan patrick right there sports trivia that challenge the fan and everyone uh yeah that's that this picture up here is kind of cringy with like this this guy just like smiling um yeah, no, no other pictures on any of the other scene boxes are like that, I don't think, with, like, the, the guy, like, smiling in the, in the picture. Um, I just saw as there's, like, little sports stickers at the bottom there. Didn't notice that before. Anyway. Um, this next one is comedy movie scene. It. Um, I guess, I guess you would say it's kind of similar to... The like general movie trivia scene, it's like the first scene of game and then the movie second edition scene of game, but this one just, just focuses specifically on comedy movies. And um, it says in the top left here, it says Coles for some reason, so I don't know if this particular scene of game was like originally released exclusively in Coles stores. Like, uh, maybe the company that made scene of game Screen Life and Coles had a like little collaboration or something like that. I don't really know. There's the back of that one. There's a big picture of the board on this one. That's that. Whoops. Alright, that's fine. There we go. <laughs> Let's see here. Um, this is actually um, a newer senior game from like last year, 2022. This is uh, just movie senior, just like another version of like the general movie trivia scene it. Uh, this came out last year, they kind of like revived Seen It last year, 2022, but um, it wasn't made by the same company, Screen Life, because Screen Life like went out of business, and that's why Seen It games ended back then, and the company Screen Life didn't come back, this was made by a company called Imagination Gaming, um, in the corner there, you can see that, and then uh, Games, GameStar Plus, I think it's like an, an app thing that they used for this, GameStar Plus play differently, it says down there, uh, it says now a streaming movie clip, because this newer Seen It game isn't a DVD game, it's like a, a streaming game, which means you get, you get an app on your phone, and then you, like, stream it to the TV. Um, that's, like, kind of a hassle, and, um, I think I've played this particular game, like, twice, and, um, 
like it, it lags a lot and it's just you know, it has some like issues with it it's definitely a lot easier and just a lot better if you just like put a dvd in and play the game that way other than downloading that much to your tv but there's what the back looks like um when i showed this game in my last in game collection video i said i wasn't sure if um, if this Imagination Gaming Company was planning on making more Cine games or if this was just a one-time thing. But now I think I am sure about that because, um, obviously this game came out, like, last year and they, they haven't really, um, announced, uh, like, any more Cine games. I haven't, like, talked about making any, any other new Cine games, so I have, I have a feeling this is just, like, a one-time thing. So, you know, it's kind of unfortunate, but, you never know, I could be wrong, but... I feel like they might not make any more, because I feel like they would have announced another new one by now if they're going to keep making them. But I don't know. Anyway. This next one is Nick's unit, or Nickelodeon's unit, whatever, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm a huge fan of Nickelodeon, so I had to have this one. It's probably my brother's favorite Cena game. I play Cena with my brother a lot. We, we don't really play as often as we used to, but uh, whenever we play Cena, um... Yeah, you know, we don't really play Cena as much as we used to, me and my brother, but whenever we do play Cena, my, my brother usually picks Nickelodeon Cena. Nick, Nickelodeon Cena is my brother's favorite Cena game. It's like his go-to Cena game. But, um, yeah. It's mainly like the Nicktoons, like Nick cartoons out here. There's a couple live action shows mixed in. Like you can see uh, Box here has Drake and Josh and Unfabulous, stuff like that. That's that. Um... This next one is Harry Potter seen it. I'm also wearing a Harry Potter shirt today. Right there. A shirt there, Hogwarts School, a bunch of compromise of Drake. <laughs> That's my shirt. Anyways, um yeah, Harry Potter is like one of my favorite things in the world, so I've had the Harry Potter seen it. Um this particular Harry Potter scene game just has trivia from like the first three Harry Potter movies and like then like a little bit of stuff in the fourth. Like you can see down here at uh, where my thumb is, it says includes bonus images, puzzles, and questions from the movie Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. So, yeah. And there it's back. Right here, it's a whole different way to look at Harry Potter. And there's what the DD menu looks like and stuff, and the pieces and stuff in that picture on, at the top. That's that. This next one is Disney Seen It. Um, I already showed a Disney Cena game technically, but that the one I showed already was Disney Channel Cena. This is just Disney Cena, like Disney movies and stuff like that. Um, right up here is a little thing that says featuring your favorite Disney Pixar character. It kind of seems like it's like a sticker or something, but it's not. It's just like part of the box. That little blue circle there is what I'm talking about. Anyway, in case you can tell, I'm a pretty big Disney fan. Um, anyways, yes. Yeah, this is uh, one of my favorite Cena games, probably. Uh, Disney Cena game is a classic Cena game for me. It's pretty nostalgic and stuff like that. But yeah, it's a pretty good one. Uh, <clears throat> this next one is Cena Jr. This one is a pretty nostalgic one for me as well. I used to play this one a lot when I was younger. Um, that's one for $2, like Fist Store, I think. Um, see that sticker there. Um, I think I had a different version of this when I was younger, though. I had, a, like, older versions of a couple of the Cena games I have now when I was younger, but then I kind of, like, lost them. I think maybe, like, one or two of them in the garage or something, like, in my garage. <clears throat> I don't really know, though. Anyways, Cena Junior is basically, like, a, it's supposed to be, like, a Cena game for, like, little kids and stuff like that, but I kind of like to view Cena Junior as kind of like a 2000s Cena, because that has lots of, like, stuff from the 2000s in it. Um, so, yeah. That's that. Uh, and this next one was another Disney scene, Disney Magical Moments scene. This is another nostalgic one for me. Um, this is the deluxe version. It says deluxe in the corner right there. Um, it doesn't actually say anything on, on the back, but I've been deluxe. So, yeah, uh, this is actually the third edition of Disney Cena. I showed the the first Disney Cena game before. It looks like right before I showed the Cena Jr. game. Um, I saw the second Disney Cena game. It's just called, like, Disney Second Edition. That's the only one that I, like, don't have. That would probably be cool to have, though. It's probably one of the main ones I'm looking for now. Uh, there's back that one. It's a big picture of the board and stuff. Yeah, that's that. Uh, 
just a few more here and then that'll be it. This next one is Seen It Squabble. This one isn't about like any specific like movie or movies or shows or anything like that. It was basically like a, well down here it says a DVD game that matches men against women. It's like a men versus woman or boys versus girls thing, whatever you want to call it. Um, something just fell. I was guessing that like right behind me. Anyway. I think this one's probably my mom's favorite sneak game. My mom is good at this one. We've only played this one together like once. We should probably play it again soon. Like together soon. I don't know. There's the board and the TV menu and stuff in that picture there. And yeah, I think the Cynic game was like all right. It's like, it's definitely pretty different from the other Cynic games. Cause, yeah, because like I said, it's not about any of the specific like movies or shows or anything like that. So it's pretty different. It also adds like a, I think it said it adds like an, it's like an additional dice in this game, I think. Um, yeah, there's a, it's like a male slash female dice to determine whether you answer like a male or female version of the question. So yeah, it's kind of different from the other Cena games. Yeah, anyways, this next one I have is Harry Potter, The Complete Cinematic Journey Scene It. So this one has trivia from all eight of the Harry Potter movies. It's like basically the ultimate Harry Potter trivia game right here, I'm pretty sure. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, so kind of like the Disney Cena games where I have the original Disney Cena and the the Disney Magical Moment scene, now I'm just missing the Disney Second Edition scene with Harry Potter scene. So I had the first Harry Potter scene that I showed a few minutes ago, and then this Harry Potter Complete Cinematic Journey scene is the third Harry Potter scene game, so I'm just missing the Harry Potter Second Edition scene. So, yeah, and there's the back of that. There's like board and stuff, and some of the like puzzles at the bottom and stuff. So, yeah. This so next one is The Simpsons scene. <laughs> Uh, Simpsons seen it. Um, this one I got for my birthday, I think, like, was it last year? Or the year before? I think it was last year. Um, <laughs> anyways. Um, this one was actually, um, when I got this one, it was actually, like, brand new in the shrink wrap, which is pretty cool. Um, I've seen, like, a, a few episodes of The Simpsons, I think, but I've never really been a huge fan of The Simpsons, but I saw this one. But it would be a pretty cool one to have, and it's it's pretty cool one to have. There's like all the pieces in that picture down there, and this picture of the DVD menu at the top there, and yeah, that's that. And then this one is Glee seen it. I got into Glee like late last year, like late December. Um, I decided to try watching the first episode. I got hooked on it. Me and my brother like binge watched it together, and that's like my favorite show. I'm like a hardcore Glee. <laughs> So I found out there's a Glee scene, and I was like, I gotta have that. I borrowed it from Amazon once. And yeah, it's not only really in the best condition, you can tell it has some like tape kind of on it and stuff. Yeah, that's what the board looks like and stuff, some of the puzzles and stuff. This is one of my favorite scene of games, so like I said, I'm a really big fan of Glee. On top says, Calling Hall Gleek, so I'm just watch one and Gleek out. And is that that one? And so that's all of the like main scene of games I have. I have a couple of, um, I have like two other. Seen it games, these are like the newer, uh, these are like the newest ones I've gotten, like, uh, like two, two that I got since I did the last Seen TV, uh, Seen TV board game collection video, so these are just two little, like, to-go Seen it games, so I have Seen it Junior to-go, this one I got for Easter earlier this year, um, I obviously have the regular version of Seen it Junior as well, like I showed you earlier in the video, but, uh, yeah, it's just, Side I wanted this one because I never had a scene a scene it to go game before, so I thought it'd be pretty cool to have one. Um, basically, if you don't know what scene it to go is, the difference between to go and like the regular version of scene is that basically scene it to go games are meant to like to like take on like road trip and stuff like that. So only physical things that you get in scene it to go games are the board, the movers, and the DVD. Um, the other stuff like the the trivia cards and buzz cards and dice, all of that is like virtual, like on the DVD. So, yeah, that's that. So that, that was Cena Junior to go. And then the other to go Cena game I have is one that I actually didn't have the regular version of. This one is Marvel's Cena to go. I don't really know that much about Marvel. I think I know like a few little things about Marvel. Yeah, I've, this one is the most recent Cena game I've gotten, but uh, as you can see, I stick it there. I got this from Mr. K's. It's a story I've mentioned several times in videos before. Unfortunately, that story's closed down. No, I mean, there's other Mr. K's locations, so they're not close by. 
but the price on this is $35. Everything was like 70% off when I went to Mr. K's. It was like closing down, so they're having a big closing down sale. So I got this for only $10, which is cool. Yeah, there's the board and the DVD and the movers. The movers are actually in this like plastic bag. I haven't even opened them yet because I haven't really properly played this Marvel scene it yet. But yeah, that's kind of And that was actually the last scene at game, so it looks like this is just a tiny bit shorter than my last scene at game collection video. Because like I said, the last scene at game collection video I did was like 27 minutes long. This one is 25 minutes long, or uh, I think it's going to go into 26 minutes. But yeah, anyways, I don't really have anything else to say. That, that was my scene at game collection. I hope you enjoyed this video. Of course, please like, comment, and subscribe. And of course, ring the bell so you know if I never post any new videos. And yeah, I don't really have anything else to say. So uh, of course, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll of course see you in the next video. Peace.